Assalamu alaikum. Here's Ahmad Nasser again with a new tutorial. This tutorial we're gonna implement uh, what we have learned in the previous tutorial. So uh, let's go there. Uh, here we are in the Visual Studio, and uh, we just go to the Solution Explorer. We have go we got all the classes. Um, okay, let's go to the. Let's talk about uh, Debar Mandel and okay as you can see here we got all these classes okay but I want you to forget about all this stuff and we just want to make a new method here uh, but before we make a new method so just I want to get this and copy this and here just want to paste this and the style of department just want to return a data set so we just put data uh, data set yeah so we want to return data set and because we want to return data set we want to get this data set and put it into the data grid view in the first um, you know in the first video as in we see in the first video so here in order to make the data set of view and in order to make the connection you need to make a connection you need to make uh, a lot of stuff here so first thing let's make the connection so we define a string we, we want to get the connection string so uh, connection let me say con c o n and with this connection we want to get the connection and where we do want to get the connection we want to get the connection from the application configuration file uh, as you can see here we got an application configuration file we've got to get the connection string from here so basically we move back here and we need to use something called the uh, configuration manager so uh, configuration manager And we use configuration manager, but as you can see here, we uh, get an error message, and give you uh, using system configuration. So we just use system configuration. So here you must put using system configuration. Okay. So we define a system configuration, and we just want to use the connection strings. Um, where's the connection strings? Here we go. We select the connection string, and because we have a lot of connection string, and those connection string define an associative array uh, or a hash map, so we want to get that connection string. But I forget what is the name of the connection string, so let me go back to the data to app config here, and we got the connection name. String name is main. So you remember this one? So we just get the name over here from here and back to the the debar mandel we just paste it over here so we get a connection string and from this connection string uh we want to get the specified connection string this is the name from the name we want to get the connection string and we want to convert this connection string from the connection strings into a string so just put a connection string okay and for connection string, we want to convert this into a uh, string, you know. And this is a method, and that's it, okay. You can put uh, something like this. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, it works. So, no problem. After making the connection string, uh, we want to make an SQL connection. So this is the, the just the name of the connection. We want to define an SQL connection because we want to make make uh, we you know we want to deal with uh, the SQL server. So we just make SQL connection. Man, SQL connection. You got an SQL connection, and let me just put connection SDR, and this is the connection. And let this to be equal to null. Okay. And here we just put connection equal to 
and new um, SQL connection and inside the connection we just give it the connection string so uh, CONSTR here we put the connection string and after getting the connection string we need to define a query so what, what oh man we got a problem here so after this we need to define a query so string SQL equal to um, let me define a query you can uh, type the query or if you don't want to type the query you can go to the SQL management studio and you can get this query from here so just type select star from you know name uh, forget about this you know because sometimes we got uh, ca queries so this is a good way to get the queries so select copy this and uh, come here and paste it we got a query here you can end the query and after putting the connection string we need to define a data set connection string connection and SQL statement we need to define a data set in order to get the data fill the data in so data set equal new data set and just make an empty argument data set okay and for this connection string for this SQL connection we want to put uh, this SQL connection in inside an adapter so we need to define a, an SQL adapter so just put SQL uh, adapter wait a minute so we got SQL adapter or I think data adapter SQL data adapter okay here we go and when new SQL data okay and this SQL data adapter we just want to give it the SQL and we're just gonna give it the connection and notice that we have two ways to, to open a connection one way is using the SQL adapter and the other way is using the connection the open so we have a connection here the open okay but because uh, we just implicitly uh, define the connection inside the adapter we don't want to use connection open sometime when you want to use the uh, data reader you need to define explicitly in this way okay so after define the SQL data adapter we need to uh, we need to fill this data adapter into you know we this data adapter get the data for for this command we get the data from the database and we start it in the data adapter and data adapter take this data from database and put it inside the data set so we just put data adapter the fill and as I, as I said before we have two methods we want when we have a method called fill and we have other methods called update so these are the two only methods that we can use uh, update and there's other method that called fill okay we have dispose and dispose is equal to delete uh, but this is not the case uh, we just cons you know when dealing with SQL we just care about fill and, and you know fill and update update I mean the update when you want to make update you can insert you can delete you can edit but you want to use fill you mean that you select the data from the SQL statement in adapter and you, you go to the database bring that data and fill it inside the data set so so here just we bought data set okay and uh, okay this is a uh, this is basically what I'm talking about and after all this operation we need to close so we go to the connection and we say 
uh, we want to close the connection so you just put close and we close the connection but notes that we didn't define any exception or other stuff okay after defining these uh, we need to return uh, not null we need to return a data set so we just get the data set after fill it because we define it here and we fill it here and we return it here basically okay uh, okay in the next tutorial we're gonna continue uh, doing all the things so just a few lines here and the next tutorial we want to make some condition about exceptions and other stuff so see you in the next tutorial